I am in the physics department here, and I will talk about our optofluidics research in our lab. Uh, historically, optofluidics follows microfluidics. Uh, microfluidics was uh, established uh, in the early 2000s, uh, first uh, in 98, in the group of George Whitesides in Harvard University. Uh, and it uh, relies on uh, producing uh, the so-called microfluidic chips uh, using a rapid prototyping uh, technique. Okay, so I, I have a sketch of this technique in here. So in this technique, uh, basically, you use the power of uh, microelectronic microfabrication uh, that you have in those integrated circuits, you know, in uh, VLSI chips. Uh, using uh, that technology, you produce a certain master matrix, which is your mold. And then uh, you use this mold uh, to generate a certain uh, structure out of uh, this material called PDMS. It is the abbreviation for polydimethyl siloxane. And uh, using this technique, you can uh, fabricate really complicated uh, fluidic networks, as you see here. And I have brought with me an exemplary uh, microfluidic chip. Uh, for those of you who are interested, you can have a look at this at the end of the lecture, I guess. So it has a PDMS elastomer, it's an uh, elastic material, and uh, below you have a glass material. Actually, uh, uh, since this first uh, initial demonstration in 98, this technique has evolved quite a lot, and nowadays there are uh, a, lot, uh, a large number of alternatives um, to this uh, PDMS material. So you can produce microfluidic chips out of different material systems, including a paper. Okay, so you can also produce uh, paper microfluidics. Uh, so this is such a uh, simple technique in a way. Okay, so this is microfluidics. And what is optofluidics? Optofluidics is wedding of microfluidics with photonics. So uh, you have microfluidic chips on one side and you have photonic tools. Now you want to combine them to have optofluidic technologies. So first thing, optical manipulation. So we can, uh, with optofluidic tools, we can incorporate optical manipulation into the microfluidic chips. Uh, what is optical manipulation? So optical manipulation is as implied by the name, manipulating micro objects using uh, optics, using photons. Uh, that is, uh, you can do that because photon is a massless particle, but it has a momentum, so it can kick a particle. It can give a kick to a particle. As an example, uh, we have a number here. Uh, if you are uh, walking, you know, uh, under the sunshine in a sunny uh, day, uh, you will experience uh, this much uh, power of light coming into you per square meter. And if you have a perfectly reflective surface on you, it means that you will experience nine micronewton of force per square meter. So you can give a kick to microparticles. You can levitate microparticles if you excite them from the bottom. Or you can do fancier tricks. Uh, you can uh, trap them with a focused laser beam. This is what we call as optical tweezers. Uh, in addition to optical tweezers, you can also have a dual beam optical trap in which uh, you can trap objects in between two diverging laser beams. Okay, so you send a diverging laser beam from one side and an identical one from the other side. As a result, you can trap an object in the middle because both of these beams give kicks you know, to your object so that it is stabilized at the center. And uh, in addition to giving uh, kicks and stabilizing it, uh, these two uh, beams uh, also induce a stress uh, to your object. Okay, so uh, the physics is here, but as a result, in this geometry, you can give a stress to your object and uh, you can elongate the object along the uh, direction of your beam axis. And uh, now I will show you the solutions that we have developed. Uh, so uh, the first solution we have developed is to use silica aerogel as the outer medium. Silica aerogel is a, a material uh, which is very porous, uh, therefore its refractive index is very close to the refractive index of air. Uh, so if we open up channels and fill these channels with water in silica aerogel, we can have uh, successful wave guiding. 
uh, we have used a mold replication technique to open up a channel in a silica aerogel. We used a magical material uh, that is initially solid uh, at the first phase of aerogel production, and then it uh, dissolves at the la latest last phase, uh, which is supercritical CO2 extraction. And when it dissolves, it gives us such a cavity, U-shaped cavity. And uh, we then go further and uh, treat the surface of this aer aerogel uh, so that it becomes hydrophobic. Uh, so when it becomes hydrophobic, then when we fill uh, this channel with water, water remains in, inside the channel. And uh, we can see optical waveguiding in this structure. And uh, we are targeting to develop new photoreactors uh, based on optophilic waveguides. This is the uh, goal. So these are the funding agencies. Uh, this is the group, uh, current people and al alumni. And this is our lab. So I thank you for your attention. And you are al always welcome to join us in our uh, lab, uh, I want to announce. Thank you.